I had such an absurd thought the other day. I was looking at an apartment building. I was pro I was on the fifteenth floor of a building, and I was sort of looking down on this other apartment building across the street. And I don't know why I got to this thought, but I was just picturing how I think I saw someone uh, far away, and I was like, I wonder what that person is doing right now. Right, it's uh, the middle of a work day for me. I'm taking a break. I'm eating lunch. I wonder what that person was doing. And this person, this per it was just a glimpse, right? I wasn't like staring at this person. And then it just got me thinking: How is someone working out during this time? Uh, someone watching TV. Someone studying. Someone, I don't know, reading. And, you know, people having sex. Um, people crying, people grieving, um, recording, drawing, painting art. And I just pictured all these different people like living inside the same apartment building, of course, in all different units, right? Uh, just doing such different things. And it was just funny. It was just amusing because maybe it's like an existential crisis that I'm going through right now, but I was thinking about how humorous that was, that everyone right now is doing something completely different from each other, right, and then I remember seeing an airplane fly by across the sky, and I'm thinking, wow, people there, you know, their consciousness is completely elsewhere, right, they're thinking about their destination, maybe thinking about what snack to order as, um, you know, as the trolley goes by, is that, is, that, is that what it is? Trolley? Cart. As the cart goes by. So yeah, I was just thinking about how everyone's really thinking about different things and doing different things. And it just got me thinking, what's the point? What's the point of life? Um, I don't know if that comes across as suicidal because I'm not, right? Um, I beg to differ um, in the sense that it's not a sad question, right? Like asking what the purpose of life is because we're trying to boil down to the most granular answer that we can come up with or like the most foundational answer or fundamental answer. Just something, right, where you can't, you can't dissect any further. I can't say I came across an answer, but it got me thinking about how we're all chasing after an experience. Like, I feel like human beings, right, um, want to experience something. We're, we're constantly being, um, actually, screw that, uh, but, but focusing on the experience factor, I feel like we all have different experiences we want, right? Like, I want to experience being in a studio again, like a recording studio, and just vibrating at that frequency. Someone else might be chasing the experience of depositing uh, depositing a lot of money in their um, savings accounts or checking accounts or just making a lot of money, right? That's a high. Some people might chase after the experience of getting high, right? Um, of being desired or... Um, or feeling loved, isn't that an experience too? Feeling understood, um, riding a jet ski, like whatever it is, I feel like we're all chasing after these experiences and I feel like it really helps if we know what experiences we're going after, you know? Like for myself, I I'm l really looking forward to an experience, experiencing um, coming back home to my loved ones, right, and, well, specifically, I look forward to coming back to my wife, right, my woman, um, I, I look forward to traveling the world, seeing things I've never seen before, uh, I look forward to creating things, and just creating something, and just feeling super proud of it, uh, I, I crave the experience of being with my close ones, right, I look forward to going to my bachelor trip uh, with the guys to Colorado 
I experience, uh, I, I look forward to getting better at skiing, you know, so um, I feel like there are things like, I also want to experience um, having a dog, right, golden retriever, ideally, mm. but I guess life doesn't always work that way, right, we were thrust into experiences that we don't always want, like delays or extra responsibilities when we just when all we want to do is rest um you know as i'm turning 31 in a few weeks i'm just i just feel like time is so precious these days it's so fragile you know the people we interact with and all that because time doesn't wait for anybody right every we're all decaying you know what i mean like like our parents aren't getting any younger uh we're getting older and we we gotta really focus on the right things you know I'm, I'm not in my early 20s anymore and that doesn't mean that i can't waste my time and like for i guess what i'm trying to say is i can't be drinking every night and smoking every night and watching porn and doing all that shit that i used to do when i was much younger when i was like 18 19, 20, or whatever, because, I mean, all that was for nothing, right, and I guess at that time, those were the experiences that, excuse me, those were the experiences that I, I, were, I was striving after, the experience of um, just feeling free and all that, um, so yeah, that apartment story just came to my mind again because life just seems so, so absurd these days. I'm trying to make a sense. I'm trying to make sense of a lot of things. Um, you know, I'm trying to make sense of my faith, right? But how how can you how can you reason about faith, right? How can you reason about things you can't see? Like faith, by definition, is believing in things you can't see. I feel. But there is a God. That that's something I believe in, right? Um, I'm struggling struggling with these theological questions, and they sort of um, sort of intersect with philosophy too, right? Like when we think about free will and determinism, like that kind of shit threw me off when I first uh, started reading about it and all. And I'm not doing any reading. I'm just thinking out loud. If anything, these are very old thoughts I've been having. It's funny because I feel like a lot of the thoughts we have, they either sort of, I mean, they sort of stay in place. Let's say you were thinking about something from like 20 to 25 and you stop thinking about it until you're 30. Like, did that thought process ever evolve? Maybe because you have more experiences now and different insights and maybe you can sort of build on top of that. But how can you sort of make pros progress of a topic if you didn't really spend a lot of time with it? I wonder if that makes sense at all. Mm -hmm. um, nowadays, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to grind. You know what I mean? Like, as in, like, I, I just don't want to waste my time anymore. Um, and if anything, I'm trying to find ways to add value, right? So I've been, uh, um, I told this uh, cafe that I would build them this e-commerce website um, because it's funny because like I, I want to get super wealthy, right? And I, I couldn't find a way to get wealthy anymore just by thinking about myself. So I gave up on that aspect because it's easier to help other people make money, if that makes sense, right? So I was like, hey, like, let me... Let me help you with this so people can order stuff online and they can pick up, right? Like more business for you 